Hello everyone, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. So this is Saket Verma and I am going to discuss with you about the ISRO scientist salary and the other benefits which you are going to get. Because in this particular era, we always want to become a very successful person and also apart from the successful, we also want the respect. And this is one of the organization where you will not only get the good salary, but you will also get the reputation, you will also get the respect from the society because you will be always contributing to the society towards the nation, right? So here I am going to tell you that ISRO scientist, how much salary he will get and how you can go and uh, uh, get this particular uh, post in the ISRO because uh, to get this scientist post, you have to clear the exam and then you have to uh, appear on the interview and once you get selected in the interview you will be appointment uh, appointed as a scientist in the isro so let's go into that detail and before going into that so this is Saket Verma as i told you that i am having more than 13 year experience and i have done mtech from iit guwahati this is my telegram group and my area of expertise are these subjects so this is not required for you but yes if you want to become a scientist then this telegram group you can connect with me and uh, you can see that i have already cleared the different psu exam as well then what are the key takeaway here if you talk about the isro engineering uh, scientist salary then we are going to talk about the in hand salary perks allowances and the facilities which you are going to get in the isro when you become a scientist so, according to the basic salary, means according to the 7th pay commission and level 10 of pay matrix, you will get the minimum basic pay of 56,100. This is not only the salary which you get, this is the, the basic per month. Okay, this is the per month basic and on the base of the basic, you will have other allowances. So, that we are going to discuss here, that you are going to get the HRA. So every country, uh, every organization gives the uh, HRA and this HRA component is 24% of your basic salary, uh, salary and it may vary uh, from 16 to 8, it depends upon the which city you are, uh, you know, staying because uh, when you will be uh, living in the metro cities, then obviously the rent will be high and if you will uh, go and uh, live in the tier 3 cities like here, uh, Jagdalpur, we have ISRO organization uh, in the uh, sorry DRD organization is there, but ISRO organization some outside the like in the uh, very rural area, then you will have the very eight uh, uh, very low rent, then you will get only eight percent of the basic salary. Then when you go uh, from your home to organization, obviously the traveling allowances will be required. So this traveling allowances will also be provided by the ISRO that in the major city it is 7200 and in the other city it is just half that is 3600 and uh, so engineering salary if we talk about this dearness allowances so this is 5% of your basic salary so you can add that 56100 then 5% of the basic salary then your uh, uh, traveling allowances and your HRA so when you add all of them then you will get total salary about 79929 so this is the salary which you will get in hand approximately okay so uh, other, apart from that there is a other criteria like nps that is for your pension means when you will get retired from the isro you will get the pension also for that the contribution starts from the day one so that is the uh, rupees 5891 will be deducted from your salary uh, so that it will be saved and when you retire you will get this amount back with the interest and additional deductions you will get uh, like uh, 3500 for the canteen professional tax etc net in hand salary would be around 70000 so uh, 79000 you will uh, it will be complete salary and in hand salary will be about 70000 from the first month obviously you will you may think that it is less but apart from this uh, you are going to get the other benefits also like medical facility also you are going to get you are going to get lta so all these things will also be inherently included 
facilities are also included and also uh, uh, the reputation the respect you get in the society uh, that does uh, cannot be compared with this salary okay because when you become a isro scientist uh, all the nation will see you that with the respect so that is why the, the money cannot be bought, uh, means the respect cannot be bought by the money right so uh, even it is quite less but it is still very justifiable because you are going to get other benefits also and the respect also so uh, additional perks you will get as a 134640 uh, this is a twice a year and uh, this 67320 which is not fixed it may vary and uh, like uh, this is the contribution by the government itself means 58000 will be deducted from your salary uh, uh, 5891 will be deducted from your salary and the government will also contribute that same amount so overall that amount will be saved by the uh, inherently in your account uh, that we, you will get after the retirement and the uh, professional update allowance like 22500 then as I said that LTA you will get so 1.5 lakh for the self and the family so if you go for the vacation then also in the airfare and in the train etc train tickets you will get the uh, different allowances that you can claim. Then the increment and proportion, uh, promotion uh, even if you don't perform in the ISRO you will get the minimum uh, uh, increment of 3% but if you perform well in the ISRO uh, interview because after every 4 years they will take interview and if you perform well in the interview then you may get the uh, hike of about 18% in the government organization there is a very good chance of the increment because uh, actually in the government organization the increment is usually fixed but here you get the chance to increase your uh, appraisal right. So once the final basic salary will increase, the overall salary will also increase. And uh, if I talk about the CTC, you get in the ISRO that CTC is 13 lakh, but you get about the 8.4 lakh uh, in hand salary and the rest of the amount will be considered in your different additional perks and benefits, right? So this is it from my side. So don't miss this chance to get the... Uh, opportunity to become a scientist in the ISRO organization. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe our channel to get the such type of motivation to uh, be a part of the different organization, why you should join ISRO, why you should join any other PSU, all the benefits we will cover here so that you will get some motivation to uh, prepare for these exams and uh, our telegram group is also given in the description so don't forget to join the telegram group as well and uh, don't forget to download our app because there are free classes running in the app also for your preparation journey thank you